Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about things that you're probably doing online that you weren't aware that are illegal. We probably should be singing the Judas Priest song, Breaking the Law, Breaking the Law, because many of you are doing just that when you're online. We get this myth that the internet as far as the sites that we visit are free, so we think that many of the things that are on the internet are free. But truth be told, there are a lot of copyrighted materials and things that you're doing that are illegal. So let's get to it and talk about some of that stuff that you're doing that could be illegal. So number one is using videos or images you found on Google. Uncle Google is a good tool to use, but everything that Uncle Google finds is not free. So if you're using images for social media or using images on your website and you just found them through Google, kind of illegal because a lot of those images and videos belong to somebody, whether it be a company or a photographer, then you're using someone else's intellectual property. The best thing to do is to look up many or one of the many free websites that offer videos and pictures. You do a simple Google search and type in free video or public use video or pictures in the search bar and then you will find sites that will allow you to use the videos for free with permission because that's why they're put out there. Now some of these sites will ask you to give credit to the photographer or to the company that is supplying the images, but it's better than just going on Google, yanking someone's images off and using them and, and having them be your own. Now one of the things that you can do, let's say if you're using it for social media, is to maybe not necessarily use the image, or if there's a saying or a quote that is contained within the picture, create your own, obviously giving credit to the person who made the statement or putting that it's unknown and use your own image with your smartphone or camera and create your own personal images. That way you're giving credit and you're not stealing from somebody. Now, another way that you are probably doing illegal things online is sharing those passwords to those streaming services. Streaming services like Hulu, Netflix, Disney Plus, we all know them. And according to the terms of service, you are doing illegal things when you share those passwords. Most of those online streaming accounts are supposed to be used within a specific household. Now, I know sometimes it gets twisted with some of you when you're thinking, well, I've got kids that are going away to college. They're part of our household, right? No, they are not. Kids who are not living under the same roof or the same IP address are not legally supposed to be using those streaming services. They're only geared for one household, meaning the residence or the business that you're in. Any other services that you're sharing passwords with to, say Office 365 or any other online account, not supposed to be sharing the passwords to those either because it's all under the same roof. If you wanna look it up, look at your terms of service. If you dare to read through them to find out if I'm being honest or not. And if you catch me in a line, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Love to get into the debate about what's legal and what's illegal on the internet. So number three, or actually I'm not even really numbering these. I should just say the next item up for bids is download videos from YouTube. So when you download a video from YouTube, it is illegal. And YouTube actually will go through the practice of taking down or marking videos that are not supposed to be uploaded. Sometimes people will screen capture a video and upload it to YouTube and you're not supposed to. If you do, at least give credit to where you got the video. Don't claim 
that it's your own video and don't splice the video to make it look like it's your original content. If you are taking videos from YouTube, upload the whole video and give credit where credit is due. That way you're not doing some illegal activity on there, but don't you worry because YouTube <laughs> is definitely always scanning for videos to find out what is your content, original or organic content versus content that you pirated or took off another site. Going back to streaming services, it's the same thing as far as Netflix and other streaming services starting to cut down on tracking where most of the streaming is done. Once you have registered your account, they can do a better job of tracking uh, information on the web or your information as far as where you're streaming from on the web because they can tell where you're streaming from. Next is searching for illegal activity with Uncle Google. Now, obviously you can't be online looking for instructions on how to build a pipe bomb or how to build an illegal gun. Not good. Even if you're just curious, you really shouldn't look at it. You're breaking some law by doing that. Uh, even looking for um, inappropriate sites, like for underage kids, can't do it. And I think the people that do that stuff kind of know that it's um, not the right thing to do. So I'll just leave it at that. Our next item up for bids is getting movies for free. Now it's tempting. You want to see the latest movie, but you don't want to pay those box office prices to get in line for your favorite up and coming movie. For some people, it's a badge of honor to be able to see a movie the first weekend it came out or to download a pirated version or a grainy version off the internet. Sites like Torrent, which are still kind of sort of around, uh, provide those movies and it's illegal to, to do that. Kind of like the old days of Napster. I think I should have included music on there, but I think most people aren't looking for music because you can download it on most streaming services um, like Pandora or Spotify and you can even pay a little bit for Spotify to get the whole release from an artist and create your own playlist really no reason to do it but for some people free movies free music is the thing even getting those Cody or those pirated um, Amazon streaming sticks is illegal you can't do it because that's copyrighted material even though it's released to the public doesn't mean that you get to do whatever you want to do with it. Our next item is sending spam and this is for people who want to send out mass emails. So those messages you see on LinkedIn, spam, it's illegal. Can't send it out or just one generic message. Even if it pops up in your inbox, it's spam. So if you're a small business user or just an individual that wants to get some information out, it's not not legal. You've got to get permission from the person before you send out those messages. If you use newsletter services like Constant Contact and MailChimp, obviously you have to get permission to send an email out to the sender. Some people will just commandeer your email. You go to a, a convention or you inquire about something. Next thing you know, you're on someone's mail list. It's illegal. So don't you do it, even though other people out there are doing that sort of thing. It's not the right thing to do. Next, which I think is kind of makes sense, is that being unkind online is illegal. You can't dox, you can't cyber bully, you can't be mean to people, and it doesn't matter which platform. It's just frowned upon universally, and it's illegal. Things like doxing, which is sharing Someone's real address online, you can't do. Swatting, which is another popular item that kids and adults will do when, in do not doxing, but swatting is the act of sending law enforcement over to someone's house when claiming that there is an issue, but there's really no issue. So the message that you should get from that is just to be kind online and make sure that you're treating people nice and not mean horrible things people stop and then i think the last thing that we can talk about 
is gathering information of children under the age of 13. There is something called COPA, the Child Online Protection Act, which protects children under 13 as far as activities online. Specific websites um, I have to follow the rules of COPA to make sure kids aren't getting into inappropriate things. But maybe you were thinking of looking up little Johnny's number for little Bobby and Susie's birthday party. And you start to do a search to find out if they're on social media. Can't do that, especially if they're underage. It's illegal and it's called COPA. So the moral of the story, I think, for this video is to, I guess, think before you click and also to make sure that you are doing proper things when you are online. One other thing I was going to mention is <clears throat> getting past websites that have a paid subscription. So sometimes people will get through what's called paywalls. And paywalls are walls that are designated to make a website unreadable unless you pay the subscription. Sometimes there's plugins you can install in browsers that will overcome that, but actually that's illegal because someone has a paying service on the web and you're basically not wanting to pay. So again, make sure that you think about it and if it's asking for a fee, Pay the fee. There's a lot of options on the internet that are inexpensive that you can go with and it's not going to break the bank as far as you using it. More and more sites are cutting down on how you can obtain information is for free. So understand that that's coming, but at the same time, make sure that you're not taking advantage of anybody or doing anything illegal online. So with that said, if you've got comments or questions about things that you are doing online that may be, be illegal, leave me in the comment section below. Good discussion to talk about uh, as far as utilizing the internet. And if you liked this video, be sure to comment, like, and share it because I know you, that you have some friends out there that could use some helpful technology tips. Hey, get that off the screen. Why is that still on there? I guess we'll leave it up there for the sake of this video. Oh, now we're gonna get it off. There we go, got a nice clean screen. So my job as a technology expert is to open you up to a whole new world of ideas and experiences and that logo popped up again. Can you believe that? That's just horrible. I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.